All right, everybody. Let's take a shot at this next problem here. This is the uh, topic two topic review. And we're here at problem 10. We call this 2.8. Um, and we're supposed to take the points from this graph and run a regression. And we want to do a quadratic regression on it to come up with an equation. Um, and they usually tell you down here, round to the nearest, in this case, thousandth. So that's what, three decimal places? So here's how you do that. You go, uh, we're going to, I'm going to show it how to do the regression in Desmos. So desmos.com, graphing calculator, up in the plus, add a table. Type your numbers in. They were the years 2003 to 2006. So I'm going to do three, four, five, and six to represent. 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006. And then if I wrote the numbers down right, it was 28.8, uh, 28.3 in the graph, 29.5. I'll check those when we go back, make sure that I wrote these all right, otherwise it's going to be wrong. And 29.7. So after you uh, plot those, if you zoom out on your graph here, you can see the points are up there. Now, here's how you get the equation then. So see how the headings of the columns are x1 and y1? That's what we need to use in our formula then, just y and then type a one and it automatically puts it in the subscript. Um, the tilde, it's a shift and it's the key to the left of a one. So y1, and if we want the computer to find the formula, it's gonna be a um, and the x sub one, just type a one and it'll go down there. Shift six for the caret squared, zero to the right, get out of the exponent, uh, plus b x one plus c. And if you notice as I was typing that, the parabola was being formed over here. Now, this r squared tells you how good a match the parabola is. If it's a one, that's like a 100% match. Um, so 70.78, it's not exactly that, but you can kind of think of it that way to give you an idea, 70.78% uh, data matches the parabola. But anyway, there's our equation. I should write that down. Uh, it says to the thousands. So if we look down here, my A, B, and C, it's a 0.175 for the A. That's the coefficient on the x squared plus my b or minus in this case because it was a negative it said so minus 1.185 x and my c plus 30.645 and i hope i don't have to round those because i only have three decimal places there we'll just see what savas does if it gets us that close and it takes off points well even when you do it I'll understand if you submit it that way when we look at it. And it's that close. So 0.175x, shift six again to get my exponent arrow to the right, minus 1.1875x plus 30.645. And let's check that, see how we did. It says it's not quite right, and I'm kind of worried that it's all it is is a rounding thing. Because, oh, no, it's my numbers. I wrote those down wrong. I'm looking over, I said I was going to check that. The 23.7, 23.4, 24.2, and 24.6. That wasn't what I typed in. Let's go back to Desmos and fix that. All right, so it was 23.7, okay, so I've got a different equation here that we have to do. So I've got still a A was 0 0.175. That's interesting, that didn't change. This B here was uh, negative 1.225x, and the C, 25.725. 
All right, let's change that and see if uh, Sabas likes that. All right, 0.175 minus 1.225. Oops. Minus 1.225x, and then let's get the C value at the very end 25.725. Let's check that one. Okay, so now that's part one. What's it say for part two? So it says, uh, what's the predicted box office revenue for 2012? Remember I was using one, two, and three, or three, four, five, and six for those years. So I just need to put a 12 into this formula. And it says round to two decimal places as needed. So what I'm going to type in is I'm going to put in that 0.175. 12 squared minus 1.225 times the 12 plus the 25.725. All right, so let's put that in decimals and then we'll enter to come back and enter that and see how that turns out. 0.175, 12 squared. Uh, minus 1.225 parentheses just multiply by that 12 and then plus the 25.725. And it says 36.225. I better write that down. I'll probably forget it. Uh, 36.225. So let's go back and put that in and see how we did. Round to two decimal places, 36.22. The next is a five, so this two goes up to a three. And we got it. So that's how I would do that problem. Hope that helps you out if you need to. Uh, Don't forget you've got to help me solve this. That'll walk you through it step by step, but then you'll have to also go back and do it all new one yourself. I like to view an example, um, but that's just that you can always keep doing more problems till you're certain that you're getting them right. So stick with it, don't give up, you got this.